Estás viendo lo mío, lo mío son los videojuegos. El día de hoy te traigo un poco más de Black Mirror Wukong porque te voy a mostrar el final secreto y cómo obtenerlo. Te tengo que avisar que va a haber spoilers en este video ya que te voy a mostrar el final. No olvides darle like al video si te gustó y suscribirte para ver más contenido de Black Mirror Wukong y videojuegos en general. Requisito número 1. Hacer la misión del cazador de tesoros. Este es el personaje que estás viendo en pantalla, te lo vas a encontrar en el capítulo 3, ahí vas a iniciar la misión y en el mismo capítulo la vas a terminar. Esta es una misión bastante larga, así que te voy a dejar el link para esa guía abajo en la descripción. Requisito número 2. Desbloquear al jefe secreto Erlang. Lo estás viendo en pantalla. Para desbloquear a este jefe secreto, básicamente tienes que encontrar las zonas secretas del capítulo 1, capítulo 2, capítulo 4 y capítulo 5. No solo eso, derrotar a los jefes de estas zonas secretas. Una vez hecho esto, vas a regresar al capítulo 3, a la pagoda, y justamente ahí te vas a encontrar la entrada a esta zona secreta donde nos vamos a encontrar a este jefe estas guías también son bastante largas y te las voy a dejar abajo en la descripción sus respectivos links una vez que derrotes a Erlang vas a tener una pequeña animación vas a ser teletransportado a otra zona vas a tener que derrotar a los cuatro gigantes y a Erlang en su verdadera forma con esto cuando llegues al capítulo 6, a la última pelea y derrotes a ese jefe, vas a poder ver el final verdadero de este juego. Y ahora solo me queda mostrártelo. Por mi parte es todo, muchísimas gracias por verme y hasta la próxima. You're here. We're here. Step aboard. Hey, old monkey. I hope this isn't a one-way trip, is it? <laughs> isn't all life a one-way trip? Once you embark on the journey, there's no turning back. <laughs> Ah, what is this place? His memories. an eye for the finer things, and a will to wrest them from others. Laying his eyes on, then craving to seize their riches. No better than the black bear and Jinsha, I say. You can't have an eye for the finer things, while the Buddha oversees the three realms? Well, I hardly think that's fair. <laughs> How insatiable. Not content with his kingdom and title below, he asked for a position in the Celestial Court. But soon after his wish was granted, his joy turned to rage, all because he wasn't invited to a feast. He nearly ruined the entire Celestial Palace. <sighs> Years fume at unfavorable news. As untamed and ungrateful as that yellow rat, Well, beasts are beasts, don't you think? He was young. He didn't know any better. Hadn't learned from the Buddha or our master yet. Aren't you being a bit harsh? Dredging up the scandals from his youth? Like his adulthood was any better. Since his release, he had claimed to have learned manners and discipline. Yet his weak Frankenchurch gave him away. <sighs> 
posing as an idol, he degraded the gods. Clear was his defiance of the doctrines he had learned. Well, he was just being naughty. <laughs> Aren't all great achievers somewhat self-obsessed? Myself included. <laughs> Nose in the air, feeling above others. I say, he was no less insolent than that yellow-browed brat. Wait, isn't it that... that lady of some sort? Hmm. <laughs> it was her tricks that made Master drive Wukong away. On White Tiger Ridge, he forsook his love. Three times he broke her into pieces, convincing himself his heart would ache no more. Yet, as you must know, he had never let go of her. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't have been so eager to get away from the Buddhahood he attained. Those who talk much of love will one day bite their tongues. <laughs> On this matter, he was akin to you and your many darlings. No matter where you are, you'd always fall captive to the web of mortal desire. Why bring me into this? True, I don't have the wits to break the web, but he had torn his way out since that day. <laughs> Take a look, Bajia. Can you see? Many of your good friends are here. We're just fair-weather friends, that's all. But they are still friends, aren't they? <laughs> so you say, so it must be. These old buddies. I think none of them ended up well. Indeed. For ages, countless gifted souls have walked this earth. Yet of them, how few have forged everlasting greatness. Do you know why? Injustice? Never has it been just. Misfortune? Fortune is simply humility in the mighty. Well, mayhaps. They simply lacked my charm. <laughs> <laughs> Gifted they may be, yet strive they not. Content with little, and lost in lust. Seek the ease, yet crave the renown. They yearn for freedom, yet aspire to Buddhahood. They always want both, yet nobody can, and nobody should. Such was the folly of the Bull King and Wukong. Destiny's favor calls for the resolution to sever all desires. You should mark well these words. Hold on. This can't be Wukong's memory. You're fooling us, aren't you? Ah, five of the six relics call for one. Bajia, tell me which. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Mind, it's mind. What did you just see? The three of us? That was the last one. Oh, I see now. It was you. I knew it from the beginning. You were the mind of Wukong all along. That's why you led us here. Not me. It's him. <laughs> Don't make me love him! He is Wukong! Yes... and no. Cut to the chase, will you? We didn't come this far for your riddles! <sighs> After Wukong died, five of his six senses endured and were taken by the Yaogwai kings. Only his mind was lost. Mind is the first of the six. It's the essence unique to every life. Therefore, it's destined to fade away at life's end. 
Hold on. You made Wukong's gone for good. Never to return. You old bastard! You've been lying to us all this time! That Wukong you knew will never return. But what made him remains. The universe will always bear him a successor. One who shall carry on his name and nature. This chosen successor is the destined one. Nameless you were, yet perils and mighty foes you've braved to recover his relics. Your will now stands resolute, worthy of his power. You mean this boy is to take Wukong's name? He's not! Soon Wukong is long gone! Now that he is dead, this one, perhaps, shall bear the name in his stead. Here, we can venture forth with you no further. This task is yours alone. Sun Wukong left behind a broken shell, stripped of all his six senses. Though ages have passed, it maintains a connection attuned to the echoes of his former self. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face Ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name!
You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tung Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now, you will hear a tale which no one has ever known. Does it matter if you become a Buddha? That headband has always been on your head. <laughs> Keep those eyes wide open. Watch me wreck it off. And break free! Soon will come. When you defied the Celestial Court, I had to seal you beneath the mountains with my immense power. Yet, after enduring punishment, you embraced the dust, uplifted good against evil, and subdued Yao Guais throughout the journey. For your contribution, I now bestow upon you the title of Victorious Fighting Buddha. He defied the Celestial Court, and the Jade Emperor imposed three ordeals. Only when the chicken finishes pecking the rice, the dog laps up the flowers, and the lamp burns through the key, the ring 